everyone? Here's a little goofy story I came across. It's a couple days from when I'm recording this. COVID positive husband, dressed as wife, uses her negative test to board flight in Indonesia. According to the police daily news here, you're sitting there thinking you got to scratch your head real quick because it's not something you come across every day. Like I said, a little goofy story, so it caught my attention. I wanted to read it over a little bit just to give you all some context and so close. He was so close. An Indonesian man infected with the CV went to extreme and unusual lengths to sneak into a flight back home, disguising himself as his wife and using her as his negative test to board the plane, authorities said. The accused imposter, identified only by his initials DW, managed to slip through a security checkpoint at Jakarta's Halim Hernanasuma International Airport over the weekend by wearing his wife's burqa, and I pronounced that incorrectly perhaps, Jakarta, Indonesia obviously, a full-face veil worn by many Muslim women that only has an opening for the eyes. Local media reported Monday. Well, thank goodness they told me what a burqa was, right? The suspect then presented the woman's negative PCR test as his own and got into a CityLink flight towards his hometown of Ternate without any issues, according to Coconuts Jakarta. <laughs> Coconuts Jakarta. Sounds like it'd be a strip club there. But he apparently felt a bit too comfortable about his scheme, and this is the part where the twist comes in, or perhaps too uncomfortable in a woman's outfit, da -dun -dun, and ended up getting caught. After the plane had already taken off, a flight attendant reportedly noticed DW going into the bathroom as a woman and returning to his seat, dressed as a man. The poorly timed change of clothes may now cost him his freedom, as the crew member quickly notified authorities upon landing, Malaysian newspaper Malay Mail reported. DW was detained by airport authorities in Tanarde and subjected to a COVID-19 test, which came out positive, according to the paper. He was ordered to self-isolate at home, where he would be monitored by police before he can face charges, authorities say. Imagine what he's thinking right now. Like, oh shit, I'm fucked. The incident comes as Indonesia overtakes India as Asia's hotspot for new infections. The country of more than 270 million people has seen an alarming spike in new cases and deaths in recent weeks with nearly 1,300 fatalities reported in just 24 hours Monday. Wow. According to the Johns Hopkins University's Coronavirus Resource Center, the crisis in Indonesia is likely far from over as only 6% of the population has been fully vaccinated. Yow. Looks like they're in for a long stretch. So something I was thinking about in this situation, not to make light of it, but that's what I do here. ID. Was ID presented? Assuming that he's presenting this test, I would imagine, and I might be off on this, but dressed as a woman, you would think he'd be presenting her ID as well. They didn't... Is he the same size as her? She's in Indonesia. The average Asian woman is what? Five foot three? Five foot four? The average Asian male, a little bit taller, five seven, five eight, five nine, perhaps. They don't have height and weight on there like we do on our IDs. Perhaps they don't. Something to be said about a little jab there about IDs being needed for certain things of importance. You can infer from that what you will in light of our current climate here in Estados Unidos. When they present ID, don't they have to take off the face covering for security to look at their faces? If not, that has to get fixed. This is what happens when you take ID from someone and don't bother making them remove the face covering. Despite their religion to verify their identity, to do something like getting on a plane, the security was the problem, the guy was not bright enough, okay, we get it. He probably is not the first and won't be the last using a burqa to skip security. And this raises something that I think would be worthy of an attempt here. Not knowing the laws here, do they require a burqa to be removed at the counter at Delta or United Airlines, for instance. Individuals here, Muslim faith, or individuals who aren't even Muslim faith, why not try it? If the laws here protect those kind of religious freedoms, I guess I would say, what's to stop somebody here from trying it? What's to stop Muslims here from trying that? Or any individual who feels like they identify as a woman on a particular day from grabbing an ID of a friend, a negative COVID test, so on and so forth. This little son, I'm not, 
I'm not saying you should go out there and do it, but I'm kind of saying, you know, I'd be interested if somebody tried it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. You are now free to move about the country. Take care, everyone. Be well.